Well, uh, Taco Bell in Kokomo is getting a lot of social media attention for all the wrong reasons. Picture has gone viral showing mm -hmm. an employee giving a haircut to another employee in the restaurant kitchen. Mm. CBS 4's Eric Graves talked to the now former employee who took that picture. It's two things that aren't supposed to go together, haircuts and fast food. But the Howard County Health Department is now opening up an investigation into this Taco Bell after reports of a new hairdo happening in the kitchen. It's the trim heard around Kokomo. Giving out free haircuts. I genuinely don't know why anybody would think that that is okay. Jennifer Laguerre says this picture shows one of the employees at this Kokomo Taco Bell giving a haircut to another employee in the kitchen. It's only about three feet away from where you make the food. Laguerre says she's the person who took the picture. She'd been working at the Taco Bell off Sycamore for about a month before she saw this happen last week. I took it out of sheer shock, you know, and showed it to a few friends via Snapchat. But the picture eventually found its way to social media, and Laguerre says she was fired for taking it. After that, she posted the picture herself. People deserve to know what's going on, where their food's being made. The photo has garnered quite a bit of attention on Facebook with more than 600 comments and close to 900 shares. Just pure disgust and disbelief that that's happening. The Howard County Health Department responded to a complaint about the Taco Bell and an inspection was done on Friday. We don't want uh, hair in the food just from a simple contamination standpoint. Graham McKean is a food safety expert and the director of public and environmental health at IU Bloomington. He says local health departments have to investigate complaints. This is it a critical violation. No, but it certainly isn't ideal and it creates that potential for contamination. McKean says he would expect a corrective action plan to be made to fix the violations. We reached out to Taco Bell corporate and as of Tuesday afternoon, we have not heard back. The Howard County Health Department says the Taco Bell has responded to its report. Laguerre says she's frustrated about her firing, but happy someone is looking into the Taco Bell. I also feel like I did the right thing. So if this is what it takes to do the right thing, then so be it. I'll find another job. The Howard County Health Department says typical protocol is to release a report after a 10 day response period. That means we should get the health department report on this Taco Bell uh, sometime around the end of the month. Reporting here in Kokomo, Eric Graves, CBS 4 News. It's a story we'll be following.